What is going on, you guys? Brandon here, aka Bawadis. And Jasmine. Are you nervous today? Mm, kinda. You'd be lying if you said no. I'm nervous. Usually when we film videos, you got a smile on your face, you're excited. But for this video that we're filming today, be honest, on a scale of one to 10, how nervous? I'm scared because my boyfriend is crazy. I'm not crazy, I'm psycho. He Duh. is psycho. And what are you gonna be doing today? Um, I'm just gonna be going through my girlfriend's DMs. Whoa, nothing like crazy. It's no, <laughs> it's no big deal, you know? I feel like every boyfriend- Does that? <laughs> All right, well, I'm not doing it because I don't trust you. I'm doing it because I feel like it would make for a good video it for the would. supporters to watch. It so would. today, everybody needs to drop a like on this video. And babe, can I please see your phone? Do it. Wait, first. I'm in a cute, loving relationship, guys. Stay out of my DMs. All right, guys, so we have the infamous phone of my beautiful girlfriend ah babe are you scared because uh, like you're going through my dms uh, you might see things you don't want to see uh, bro what well people might send weird stuff oh i thought you were gonna say that you be sending weird stuff and Why you were i send weird stuff i don't know that's how you made it seem to be no like you, you might see things you don't want to see like people like talking to me saying crazy stuff from other people well yeah oh. obviously i'm in a relationship well you, yo did she not make it seem like she was talking to other people she's like you might see things you don't want to see i'm like <laughs> wait what so it's not that I'm scared, but I'm kind of expecting to be shocked, disgusted. I just don't know what I'm going to see in your DMs, babe. But without further ado, are you ready to get this video started? Yeah. Everybody out there, drop the like. Yeah. Now we can go through my girlfriend's DMs. Okay, guys. So DM number one. This one says, Jasmine, be careful. Brandon is a drug dealer in our company. Low key, be careful. Are you a drug dealer? Babe, listen. Am I dating a drug dealer? There's some things when we first started dating. I knew it. There's some things when we I first started it. dating. I just didn't know how to tell you because I didn't want you to be scared of me. Babe, you know, I I, I never wanted it to get to this point. Um, I never wanted you to know about this part of my life. But now that this guy actually did expose me, I have no choice but to... <laughs> Oh my god, what the fuck? Okay, guys, listen to me. First and foremost, let me clear this up before people start believing this stuff. Am I a drug dealer? Obviously not. Listen, listen, listen. I live in a nice house, of course. You know, I'm very blessed to have a roof over my head. But you guys really think if I was a drug dealer, I wouldn't have a nicer house than this? Come on, bro. If I had drug dealer money, you know what I mean? No, I'm not a drug dealer. And why? Like, okay, here's my question. <laughs> Of all the things you could slide in my girlfriend's DMs with, why, why, how random? Like, what kind of imagination do you have to have to slide in with, be careful, Brandon is a drug because dealer. Because he wants me to break up with you. Like, Brandon is a drug dealer. That's just so random. Is that not random? That is random. Imagine I actually am and I'm just so scared I'm covering it all up. <laughs> That's so random. Why would I ever do that? <laughs> okay, next DM. Yeah. This DM says, you're so hot, baby. <laughs> It's very straightforward. This is awkward. You like these type of messages? No. You don't like getting these types of messages? No. <laughs> I just like when you tell me. I'm not gonna lie, Jasmine. He didn't just say, you're so hot. He said, you're so hot, baby. Baby, this damn. Is, that, hey, that's personal. You know this person. Low key. Hey. You you know you know this person? No, obviously I don't know this person. Next DM. Brandon is lucky to have you for real. I mean that one's true. That one is true. That one is true. Girls like Jasmine don't grow on trees. Look at her. I'm very lucky to have you, and I know that. That's why I treat you so good. Bro, look at her. Look at her. I would be an idiot to not realize I was lucky to have her. So this DM, Brandon is lucky to have you for real. I know. I'm lucky to have him too. Nah, nah, babe, this is about you, not me. I'm lucky to have her and I know that. I know that, I'm not an idiot. Bro, look at her. Look at her. Take a step back, babe. Look at her. Look at her. I know I'm lucky to have her. And on top of that, we're only talking looks right now. On top of that, this girl goes to school. She has a funny personality. She's my best friend. I know I'm lucky to have her. That's why I treat her so good. Because I know there isn't many girls out there in this world like her. So, you know, I know her worth. I know her value. So, uh, Thank you. love you too. Whoa, this DM went straight to the point. He got a proposal already or I'm going to unsubscribe. Unsubscribe if you want Whoa, to. Whoa, hold up. <laughs> Before you guys unsubscribe. He hasn't proposed yet, guys. Wait, 
I haven't asked you to marry me? Uh -uh. Okay, so if I don't propose, they all unsubscribe. What happens if I ask you to marry me right now? What do they have to do? They have to all subscribe, everyone. Oh. Hey! In that case, babe, will you marry me? Not with... Not with that, no, what the heck is this? Well, I'm giving you a ring. Where's the ring? It's here, right here, come. That's not a ring. It's up your butt. Everybody hit that subscribe button. Oh, these ones are... This one's annoying. Have you experienced this yet? Look, look, look. You, no, I have now. Me, personally, I've been in the spotlight. I've been doing YouTube for eight years, so I'm used to this. So this, you, you've experienced everything. I've experienced <laughs> it. This is not new to me. This, babe, this has happened to me a lot. Is this the first time it's happened to you? Yeah. Oh. Uh, it's so confusing. Okay, you're, this, this is annoying. So, this girl goes, can you please do a hair tutorial and makeup tutorial with like a loving emoji, right? She's a fan of you, right? Yeah. Then she goes, girl, I really love you and Brandon's relationship. It reminds me so much of me and my boyfriends. Again, very supportive, very loving, right? Yeah, I think. And then she just does a complete 360. Well, hold on. Her very next message to Jasmine, because Jasmine didn't reply to the first one, she goes, you're a gold digger and a fame digger. Dude. Bitch. What'd you say? Bitch. It takes a lot to make her cuss. <laughs> yo, yo, it takes a lot to make her cuss. She's mad. It's very frustrating. This happens to me all the time, but I'm used to it. People Guys, I'm not used to this. Like, think about this. I'm just a normal person who no worked a normal job. So I'm new to this. And she got in a relationship with a freaking YouTuber, and now her life is doomed. <laughs> Honestly. Oh my gosh. Okay, this one, dude, th this is so stupid. Why would someone say this? So, babe, I'm assuming they're talking about your Instagram account? They said you should have never made one. You look like you're clout chasing now. Be a regular girl in a guy whose life revolves around social media. Okay, can I just say, everybody in today's day and age, we're in 2023, everybody on this earth, mom, grandma, grandpa, babies, teenagers, adults, everybody has an Instagram. Mm -hmm. Just cause Jasmine has an Instagram does not make her a clout chaser or a gold digger. Everybody has Instagram, everyone's on social media. Your grandma is on I social know, media. My grandma. <laughs> Her grandma yesterday was asking us, how do I follow Brandon? Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's on social media. Why is this person telling Jasmine you look like you're clout chasing now because she made an Instagram? And also guys, like no matter which girl he dates, she's always gonna be called a clout chaser, a gold digger. Bro, literally I don't know what I do to like be portrayed as this, but I genuinely don't care about mm -mm -mm. Don't give them the attention. Don't give the haters the attention. Okay. It's fine. I believe you. It's okay. You don't have to worry about them. There are no lives. You think if I thought you were a cloud chaser, you think I'd be dating you for a year? No, but I, he's smart. I spot out cloud chasers like this. There's a reason so many girls try to get in my life and I just I know. And he's there's smart. a reason you're here, because I know you're not that. So don't even mm -mm, don't <laughs> even give them the attention in this video. Being called a cloud chaser because you made an Instagram account is wild. I've never seen that one before. Maybe like if you were posting on your Instagram every single day, tagging Abrawadis, Abrawadis. Guys, this is my boyfriend. This is my boyfriend. Yeah. Then I'd be like, okay, babe, I get why people are calling you a cloud chaser. But he said you should have never made one. You should have never made an Instagram. Now you're a cloud you can't chaser. Win. You can't win. Okay, next. Oh, <laughs> okay. So Jasmine posted a story of her at uh, her dental school. This person replied saying, I wish you were my dentist. Yeah. <laughs> Next one. Oh my God. Another reply to her working on teeth. Someone said, you about to be the baddest nurse for real. Don't tell Brandon I said that. Well, I told him. Guess what, buddy? Shit. I'm right here. I'm right here. But yeah. it's funny because you know people actually like always DM me that they're going to get cavities on purpose all of a sudden now so I can be their dentist. Hey. And I can be working on their teeth. So, damn, <laughs> my girl's so bad that people are purposely gonna get cavities so that her hands could be in their mouth? Yo, you might have to switch your field, bro. I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like this, bro. Oh. <laughs> Yo, this one. That's just straight for it. That's just, this guy though, he's at least, what I can respect from this guy, he's not gonna play with a girl's emotions. He's not gonna take her on a date, lead her on, get her hopes up, just to try to f This guy's being 100% straight up honest and just, <laughs> the most straightforward message to my girlfriend says, can we f No. 
next. Today's video is sponsored by Underdog Fantasy. Underdog is the easiest place to play fantasy sports. Now listen, NFL season starts in just a few days and I was already pumped for football to return. But after finding out about Underdog's Pick'em Game, I'm a million times more excited to watch football this year. Underdog's Pick'em Game is so simple, bro. All you gotta do is pick higher or lower on your favorite player's stat totals for the game and you can win up to 20 times your money, bro. Plus, on top of everything, Underdog is having a crazy special for NFL Week 1. When I say crazy, Crazy special. I mean, I'm in shock. I have never ever heard of something like this being done. Check this out. If Justin Herbert goes higher than 0.5 total yards in this weekend's game, you guys are all winners. Yeah, that's right. You heard that correctly. You're not dreaming. I'm not lying to you guys. If Justin Herbert gets just one total yard all game, you guys all win big money, baby. Now that, <laughs> that's a special, bro. Underdog is available in 40 different states plus all of Canada. Check out the map right here on the screen to see if you're eligible. You guys can all sign up for underdog by clicking the link in my description down below or how about this there's an even easier way to sign up for underdog scan the qr code that you see on the screen right now and this will take you straight to underdog use promo code brawadis and underdog will deposit match your first 100 dollars what are you guys waiting for bro link in the description shout out to underdog fantasy now back to today's video all right, next message. Oh, this one's nice. I honestly love that even though Brandon is financially stable for the both of y'all, because I am a drug dealer. I honestly love that even though Brandon is financially stable for the both of y'all, that you still work. It truly does mean a lot to a man when they see genuine stuff like this. Hey, I will say, I agree with this message. First of all, babe, look, there is a lot of supporters. I do get a lot of positives. You can't, you know, only give attention to the hate. You gotta say, you to the haters because there's a lot of supporters like this one so uh yeah this person is you know pretty much saying that i am in a position to take care of her financially and i'm not forcing her to work i'm not forcing her to go to school to be a dental you know assistant dental hygienist i'm not forcing her to do that she made that choice on her own you don't want a lazy person also like especially coming from you because you're such a hard-working motivated dedicated person like this guy literally he never takes a break so like if i come in and i'm like oh i don't really want to work i don't want to go to school i just like i just want to like be here like, I mean, you have the means, so like, I don't need to do anything great. Like, I feel like that's just like, lazy it's, it's and it's like a turnoff for him yeah and this person's right in his message he goes it means a lot to a man when they see genuine stuff like this that's so true because you know i could have came to you and was like hey babe i know i got the money to take care of us but i want you to go to work i want you to go to school just to show me that you're not with me for the money and you could have said yeah but then in my head i would have been like yeah, she only said, yeah, because I forced her to do it. Yeah. You know, I asked you. Yeah. But it's the fact that you, out of your own interest, because let's be honest, I know we've never said this on camera, but I did tell you, you don't have to work. You don't have to go to school. Mm -hmm. Like, I've offered to take care of both of us. And I want you to be a stay-at-home wife. I want that. But the fact that you turned that down and said, babe, no, this is exactly what she told me in her own words. I want my own money. I want to buy stuff for myself, not using your money, not using Brandon's money. I want to buy stuff for myself with money that I earned myself. I appreciate you telling me that I could be a stay-at-home wife, but for now, I would like to work and I want to go to school. Yeah. I want to, she's in like some fast-paced, tough-ass program. On the Dean's List. On the Dean's List has straight A's. It's not easy what she's doing. She's not just doing it to bullshit. And uh, that's what genuinely means a lot to a man. It's the fact that I didn't have to ask her to do it. I didn't have to force her to do it. She just went out of her way herself and said, babe, I want to go to school. I want to make my own money. And yeah, that shows me a lot, babe. So love you, love you too. Th those actions show me a lot more than words ever will. So I appreciate that. Next. <laughs> oh my God. Speaking of straightforward, this person goes, your ass is perfect. I mean, I will say he's not wrong. <laughs> He's definitely not wrong, you know? I, <laughs> I will say that much. But, oh wait, wrong website. I always forget this is YouTube. Not even a hey, what's up? Hey, how are you? It's just straight. So Your ass is perfect. Oh my, this person's a kid. This person's a kid. That's weird, why are kids like, Ugh. Bro, like I'm sorry, when I was a kid, like when I was this person's age, what I cared about was what my mom was making for dinner, <laughs> if it was my favorite food that she was cooking, um, if my favorite Disney Channel show came out with a new episode, if my favorite video game was, was out in stores yet. That's what I was worried about when I was this person's age. But look at him, he's a kid. And this person is sending DMs saying, your ass is perfect. Bro, that's crazy. That is crazy. This generation is wild, bro. It's wild. 2023, I... Different breed of kids, I swear. Yeah. These kids are, they're growing up very differently than my age and your age. 6 a.m. 
6 a.m. Oh, he had that morning wood for ew, sure. Ew. For sure. Okay, next DM, babe. Yeah. Oh, this one. I like this. This is another supportive one. So this person said, I pray for a relationship like y'all. Really, both of you inspire me. You know, that's that's actually very nice. And uh, I prayed for a relationship like this too. I've had my fair share of relationships in the past that didn't work out. So this is obviously a relationship that I prayed for as well. So um, you just got to be patient and you'll find the right one eventually. You know, it took me till I was 28 years old. Yeah, don't so, rush it. The right person's coming, I swear. Yeah, but we do appreciate messages like this you know it means a lot to us because uh being in a relationship is not easy being in a successful relationship it yeah. takes a lot of sacrifices there, there are arguments there are disagreements it takes a lot to be in a good relationship it's mm -hmm. not just perfect from the start yeah ever no relationship is perfect yeah it's very it's tough it's tough to make a relationship work um there's a lot of like i said sacrifices ups that need downs, to be made yeah. there's ups and downs we're, you gotta learn each other yeah. learn how to make each other happy and it's, it's hard a lot of relationships fail so we know how hard we've Work to get our relationship to a point where people will say, I pray for a relationship like y'all. So it actually means a lot for you guys to say that to us because it wasn't easy getting to this point where we both are at right now. It took a lot of, it took a lot. So we're happy where we're at and we're even happier when we get messages like this. We love you guys and thank you for always being so supportive of our relationship. Next DM. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh shit, this one, this is borderline scary. This is creepy. So this person <laughs> goes, stressed. let me be the father of your children. You know, that's whatever it's not that creepy but then this person gets impatient and it's missed audio call so imagine call me he really wanted to be the father of my kids bro so imagine this babe let me be the father of your children the first message is like oh damn let me be the father of your children but then the phone calls were creepy like what was he gonna say like hey jasmine you know you've had a couple hours to answer my questions so are you down can i be the and father like these people know i have a boyfriend <laughs> hello the father of my children is standing right here bro Babe, if you keep touching me down there, we're gonna end the video and go to the room. Cause I don't know, I don't, guys. <laughs> How does it make you feel? Hmm? Uh, babe, stop. We're back, we're good, okay? We're back. Next message. You need to tell us what makeup products you use because your makeup always looks flawless. Well, before Jasmine answers, I would like to say that I agree. Your makeup is always on point. My favorite thing about your makeup it's is what? the pink cheeks. Is it really? Yes, I oh, love the pink oh, cheeks. So it's the blush, right? It's like my signature, yeah. That's my favorite thing, but babe. Oh. I do always get questions about this. Please show us your makeup, hair. Like I, my two main questions are makeup and hair. I do notice like a lot of times when you're in my videos, there's a lot of girls that ask what your makeup routine is and look if you get into detail about that in this video i feel yeah. like it's going to be way too long yeah, but too long. if you guys want to see jasmine's makeup routine in a future video just hit that like button but thank you guys so much for complimenting my makeup so cute oh shit hey who the f hey i know i haven't really been airing out names in this video but milton that's a guy, isn't it? Milton. Oh shit, is it a guy? Oh, <laughs> I was so hyped. I was like, damn, this girl thinks I'm sexy. <laughs> Either way. Why are you getting hyped for other girls? No, I meant I was huh? getting, I meant huh? I was what? depressed that a girl called oh, me sexy. Okay. But anyway, Milton says to Can Jasmine. Can I say it? Milton tells Jasmine. You have a hot, sexy ass boyfriend. You threw in the ass. I did. You didn't I, say ass. I know, but, but it, it like added to it. Hey, but Milton, I do, I know. Milton, my guy. That's why he's my boyfriend. Milton, my guy, thank you so much for the compliment. I really appreciate it, man. Am I hot? Am I sexy? I don't know. Shut the heck up, you do know. Nah, I'm not gonna. You don't huh? Are I, you hot? I don't know, that's for you to say, not me. Guys. <laughs> huh? <laughs> You're hot and you know it. <laughs> no, bro, I. You're hot. No, I can't. I'm not a cocky person. I'm not gonna call myself hot and sexy. But if Milton says it, and if if my girlfriend says it, then, then it I, has to be true. I guess so. I don't know. Okay. Next, TBH, you should have got with me instead of Broadis. No, but he makes up for it by oh. saying, but y'all a cute couple. For real. <laughs> Can I just say like, babe, <gasps> how many girls are there on this earth? Like two billion, three billion? Yeah, there's billion? a lot of girls on this earth. Yeah. Billions of girls on this earth. Why do you guys have to go after my girl? Why, bro? There's billions of girls on this earth. If you're choosing to shoot your shot and send a DM to a girl, why does it have to be one that's in a relationship, man? Oh. Why, bro? Why? What am Are I? Are you sad? Pobrecito. Oh, pobrecito.
Oh my gosh, another one. Another one that is trying to shark my girl from me. Bro, I'll treat you better than Brandon. Like I'll buy every Starbucks drink and your finest. <laughs> uh, I like it though because he knows I like Starbucks. That means he like pays attention to the details. <laughs> oh, really? Well, go damn then. <laughs> but I have my boyfriend. No, you home. don't. Not anymore. <laughs> but <laughs> she goes, oh my God, I like it. He pays attention. <laughs> pays attention to my details. Listen, <laughs> he pays attention to your details. I don't think it's that hard. You mentioned fucking Starbucks in every single one of my videos. I don't think it's that hard to know you like Starbucks. Um, But I have a beautiful looking, perfect boyfriend that buys me Starbucks every day. That is actually in true. Hey, if anybody does you know, end up successfully taking Jasmine away from me. Don't just know, that. just know, in okay. order for you guys to keep up with what I was doing for her, <laughs> the bare minimum in this relationship, you gotta wake her up with Starbucks coffee every single day. So if you're not ready for that, don't even try to take her away from me, but good luck. Good luck. Okay, next DM. Oh, wait, this is a cute one. <laughs> this is actually a cute one, bro. Mm -hmm. This person goes, hey, I know you're never going to see this, Guess what? We saw it. She goes, hey, I know you're never going to see this, but I'm so happy for you and Brandon. It's so cute to see you guys happy together. He hasn't really been at his highest potential, but since he met you, he's grown and you can see a light in him. Mm. Keep doing what you guys are doing. <laughs> okay, so. I'm gonna cry. I wanna say something. I'm gonna cry if you say something. Okay, so I've realized it too. I was talking about this with my mom the other day too. Ever since I met Jasmine, it's only been nine months. It hasn't even been a year. I've grown so much as a person. I've changed so much for the better. I've matured so much and I've realized it. My mom has realized it. Everybody around me has realized it. It's really crazy how when you find a girl that you love and you find a girl who's just good for you, it'll make a man change. Like when you find a girl that you love, you don't want to hurt that person you only want to yeah. be the best version of yourself for that girl so like you just you just change because you you want you don't want to hurt that person like yeah. i don't know how to explain it but it, it's crazy that even my supporters notice a change in me because a lot of people say you're glowing i am i'm glowing say. i'm happier in life like i said i've grown i've matured and i've noticed it myself the other day for noah's birthday they yeah. all wanted to go to the club what did i want to do he wants to go home and sleep Bro, if you they, say the club, he'll literally run the other way. I was like, nah, guys, I'm good. You guys have fun, do your thing, but I'm just over that point in my life because well, he doesn't want to like do those things that single people do, I guess. It's just like I've had my fun in my life. I've had that phase in my life, partying, yeah. going out, having fun, being crazy. I'm over it. I'm over it. I'm ready for this. I'm yeah. ready for nights at home with my wife, cooking, going to bed early, waking up for the gym at 6 a.m. And it's and that's our life. That's what we do. Yeah. Literally, that's what we do. We go to bed at like 9 o'clock. We wake up and we go to the gym together. Yeah. We cook here. We watch movies. We don't really do anything crazy. Like, we just live like a normal, normal, normal life. And it's, it's crazy, though, where I say the change in me that I've noticed. Because a year ago, someone asked me to go to the club for Noah's birthday. Yeah, I know. You were in downtown every night. I'd be like, ago. hell yeah, bro. Let's go. Let's get drunk. Let's get blacked out. You know, blah, blah, blah. Like, I'd be down. Like, and now I'm just like, I'm such a changed man. I'm ready to just, all that stuff is behind me. I genuinely don't enjoy it anymore. I'm ready to settle down. I'm ready to, ready to get married, ready to have kids, ready to start a family. I'm ready for that, that The chapter. next chapter in his life. Exactly. My, my last chapter, I feel like it's closed and I'm just ready for the next chapter of my life, which is adulthood fatherhood you know marriage and I, marriage and i just feel like before meeting jasmine if i never met you i would not have been at that point in my yeah. life i would still be partying i would still be going out i would still be I'm not gonna say a bad person but not as good of a heart as i have right now i really feel like you changed me and i don't know babe but thank you for helping me become a better person and growing and maturing because i needed that you know, I wasn't at a phase in my life that I wanted to be at. I feel like I could have been a better person and it took you to come into my life for me to become that better person. So But all that matters now is you are that person. Yeah, You're but it took me a long time to be that person and it took me finding you to change into the person I've always wanted to be in my life. So thank you for that. Of course. 
Okay, next DM. Mm -hmm. This person says, let me be your sneaky link. Man, like I said, bro, billions of girls on this earth. Why do guys gotta go for the girls that are in relationships? Why do guys need to go for a girl with a boyfriend? Why, bro? There's billions of single girls on this earth. There's a lot of single girls and a lot of girls that would be somebody's sneaky link. That's just not gonna be me. Okay, I won't air out the name. Bro, come <laughs> on. What the hell, bro? Okay, when you send the message, let me be your sneaky link. Like, so do you think I'm gonna be like, oh, yeah. That's that's what I'm saying. Do you do you expect like do you really think that a girl in a relationship with a boyfriend, especially Jasmine's in a public relationship, a relationship with millions of eyes on it? Do you think if you send a message to her saying, "Let me be your sneaky link," she's gonna grab her phone and be like, "Okay, I'm down. Let's meet over here. Don't tell Brandon, but yes, I'm down to be your sneaky link." Is that what people expect, bro? Psycho. So, anyways, will you be his sneaky link? Fuck no. <laughs> Babe, we are on the last DM. This video is getting long. I'm only going to find one more DM to go through, okay? Okay. <laughs> Bro, what the f***? Oh, whoa, wait, <laughs> babe, what the hell? People are like weird, like no, 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 weird, no. The, weird. Babe, this is not weird. This is disturbing. What the hell did I... Bro, what? Dude. <laughs> This person sends Jasmine a photoshopped picture of herself naked with no clothes. It's like a picture from my Instagram that's like outside and then he just photoshopped like somebody else's body onto it. So it's a, it's a regular picture it's from like, Jasmine's yeah. Instagram where she's obviously wearing clothes and he took her face and put it on a body of a naked girl. People are weirdos dude okay bro those type of people belong in jail i'm sorry no 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 they're not mentally stable that's creepy that's like that's like predator like because i'm imagining like i'm imagining me being so desperate to picture a girl nude that i'm gonna be in my room chilling and that i'm gonna crop her face out of a picture and put it on a naked girl and then he sends it to you bro that's okay, weirdo. dude that's so weird that's disturbing that you're weird how desperate do you have to be? Yo, I don't even want to continue this video. That That's the last DM that's we're going gonna through. That's going to close it out. That, Like I said, that gives off predator vibe. Like, I would not trust somebody like that around kids. Like, imagine know. if that person has kids, like children. Ew. Bro. Oh, and that, like, I would not trust that person around a middle school, high school, elementary school, nothing. That's predator vibes. But yeah, that's going to close out today's video. Please drop a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to this YouTube channel if you are new. Other than that, it has been your boy, Brandon, a.k.a. Bawadis. And Jasmine. And we had a blast going through our DMs. Now we are out. Peace.